Hey guys, it's Nunya Beeswax back at you. Got another video. We're gonna be doing a oil change on this Honda CRV. It's a 2007. Um, look up here. I got the hood popped, and I'm just gonna open this cap up here. Uh, just kind of set it there so nothing falls down in there. I'm I'm shady tree mechanic and the wind's blowing so we just want to open it up and this is going to let the oil come out a little bit faster. Now that I got that done I'll come down here underneath. Alright and right here is the oil pan and right here is your bolt that you undo to let the oil come out and here goes the filter if you can see that yeah. here's your filter right here right next to the bolt so I got 17 I believe there's a 17 millimeter here I'll throw that on there well, let me put it on the ratchet here. This is counterclockwise. Alright, I'll throw that right on there. We're gonna I already loosened this up. I got this all set up, so hopefully this I'm trying to make the video as fast as possible. So I got my oil catches ready. <laughs> Here's that bolt. Let me just I'm loosening this. Voila. All right. Oh, she's black gold. All right. Uh, here we go. We're going to let that drain out a little bit. Maybe I can get this filter. Like I said, I loosened it. Ah! Oh, come on. Well, obviously I didn't loosen enough. All right, I got this oil filter wrench. Well, let's see here, give her a persuasion here to get off I can't move that with my hand now I'm, I better just quit life all right come on that's gonna fall right in the oil <laughs> this is what I was trying to avoid Screw this thing off. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. What a mess. Yeah, this is always the fun part. I was trying to avoid. And now this thing's a pain in the butt to get off. Alright. Gonna let that get. Just let that empty out. I'm gonna take this glove off. I'll let that drain out. I'm going to go upstairs here for a second. All right. All right. Now, this cap usually tells you what you what you should put in the car. Now the car is kind of older. Talk to my mechanic after hearing the car making a bunch of valve train noises, and. Uh, 
he recommended put in 5w30 in it to calm it down and when i did that it it was a lot quieter it stopped making all these like you know kind of valve train type noises here in the top part of the engine you could hear like stuff rattling or something so i'm not gonna do 5w20 i'm gonna go with the 5w30 again because i trust the guy and like i said when i put it in there it, it quieted it right down so you know i've been working with him for 20 years so i'm gonna trust him on that so let me uh let me get back down here because hopefully this stuff is all done she's still got some stuff in there shake this thing around or something Clean up this part around the filter. I got oil all over the place. All right. All right. Got my filter. XG7317. Right here. Fresh, fresh guy. Put a little oil on this rim here. In the hole, get that hole lubed up. There we go. All right. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, this is blasphemy. You didn't fill it up. Well, guess what? Blasphemy. Turn your head, guys. Now, some people say you should fill this up. Uh, I never do. Now, I do have some other oil changes to do. I have a vet. The vet, I might actually do it, but this, uh, I've never had a problem. And we're just gonna let this drain out a little bit more. This, you don't have to go crazy on this thing. Remember, you gotta take it back off. Yeah, that should be good. And uh, you're gonna let this drain out some more. I'm just I'm kinda shaking it here. Trying to speed up the process. All right. So there goes that. We're just waiting for this to kind of finish up here. I mean, I'm not going to wait forever. You know, this is my, you call it my trash vehicle, I guess. You know, this is what I take to the, the, the take my trash out or, I got something semi big and stick it in here. And uh, she's still, still not quite satisfied there. But uh, basically, once this stops, I'll put the bolt back in. And uh, we'll go back upstairs and fill it up. I mean, it's, I think it's like 4.5 quarts. Like almost everything's 4.5 quarts or something. <laughs> so if she would uh, hurry up here. I mean, this car has a hundred and thirty thousand. That's in pretty good shape. Two thousand seven runs good. 
Compressor makes noise though. It's still working, but it makes noise. AC compressor. And uh Yeah, pretty pretty satisfied. This is, these Hondas run pretty good. I believe it has a timing chain, not the belt. Thank God. You don't have to worry about that. It's a pretty pricey repair. If you got the belt. And uh Shake it a little more. All right, I had enough of this. Come on. I right, put that on there. Righty tighty. Don't go too crazy on this. You could mess this up or muff the threads up in here, crack this, you know, and then you got to replace this whole thing or, have, you know, it, it's just trouble. All right. And uh, if you're having trouble getting that bolt off, sometimes, you know, people go nuts on them. You might need like a breaker bar. I'll do one of these jobs here. Okay, give you some leverage and uh, that's about it for down here everything's you know this is on this is on everything's buttoned up down here you go back up here all right take this off put that funnel in there Open this oil up. Like I said, I'm putting the 5W30. It's thicker. Mind you, I'm doing this with all with one hand. You know what I mean? Put this in here. Like I said, we're going to come down to around this. There, there is about half a quart left, I guess. Oh, no. Spilling it all over the place. God. All right, let me clean this up real quick. I don't want this getting all over the exhaust manifolds and making a bunch of smoke and shit. Here we go. Got the wind going. Alright. This is not easy, guys. <laughs> One handed oil change here. In real time. As soon I'm gonna get like a camera or a laptop or and uh I can edit this shit or something. And I mean, this is just the beginning because I got to change the oil in this. I got to change the oil in red vet. I got to change the oil in black convertible vet. Lexus SC 430, 2002, and 99 Infinity Q45. The vets are 95s. So this is, this is the first of five oil changes. <laughs> I think I put a little bit too much. Uh, said I got the rest of the stuff here. I got the keys all lined up. My other filter stuff. So yeah. It's going to be a busy day today. Alright. So I'll put that there. And now my cap. Put that back on there. 
Alright, and that's it. That's all she wrote. That's your oil change on your 2007 Honda CRV, guys. Alright. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright. That is in real time. Other than I did loosen up those things and I got everything ready. You know, I got everything. You know, there's like an hour running back and forth. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. But there it is, guys. Uh, check out the other videos. I'm going to be, uh, like I said, I've got VET, Lexus SC430, Infinity Q45. Literally all these guys, except for the Camaro here. That's like a project and I don't know, just sitting there for now. You got too much other stuff. It's a 95 convertible, 99 Infiniti Q45T. It's got the touring Lexus SC430. So all these guys, all these guys need oil changes. So I gotta get to work. I'll see you on the next one, guys.